Hey everyone. Now in the last video, I showed you how you can run VMs on a Linux box using open source software, just KVM. And I used Vert Manager for that. And the reason I used that particular thing as opposed to Proxmox was because I often run a VM just on a machine that I'm using that already has an operating system. But as many of you have pointed out, Proxmox is good for this sort of thing. And I've done a video on setting up Proxmox years ago, but I'll revisit in this video because what I did, I probably shouldn't have done. On this machine here is the bare metal machine. I installed a Debian and then Vert Manager. But since this is only ever gonna be for VMs, I should have put Pro Mo Proxmox on it. So that's what I'm gonna do. I've got Proxmox on a USB adapter here and I haven't set up any VMs using Vert Manager anyway, so I'm just gonna put Proxmox on here. And the reason Proxmox is good for this is because you can use it on a web page on the client machine. It's just a web interface to the VMs. So I've used it in the past and it is good. There are others, but that's the one I know. So I'm gonna put Proxmox on this machine. Right, it's the same as before. I downloaded the ISO, put it on a USB stick, and I'm just gonna boot from that. Okay, so I'm booting up from a USB stick now. Get ready to install it. It's got a video driver there, so the text is tiny. Actually, I'll zoom in a bit for you, saying is that the hard disk to use? Now, the country's right, but the time zone isn't. So go to Australia, Brisbane, and we do use a US keyboard here. Password, password, and email. For the email, I'm just going to use admin at local host, not a real email. Okay, what I want to change here is my network's address. So, what did I want? 150, and the rest should be pretty much right. Okay, that's it. It's going to reboot. Okay, it's rebooting, and this shouldn't take long. Okay, yeah, the grub thing, two, one, zero. Okay, now it's booting. You should get a command prompt pretty soon. There it is. That's it, it's up and running. Okay, so back on the desktop, if I SSH that machine, 128.100.150, Remember, I had the old one on it yesterday. The key's changed, so it's having a whinge. Just copy that, do it again. Boom, do it again. New fingerprint, yes. Login, cool, there it is. But we're gonna use the web interface. So on the web interface, 102.168.100.150, port 8006. You can see it's going to HTTPS, but the certificate's not valid, so I'm just gonna accept that and go ahead. Blah, 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 same thing again root and password boom i'm in and there is a brand new environment ready to install stuff on if i expand this you can see what's going on you've got some storage areas and there's not much in this but what i can do for an iso image is upload something to it you remember how i scp'd it yesterday i can just upload it apparently now rather than that so from my iso directory i'll just i don't know upload this one and see what happens file size blah 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 just upload it That'll get it on there, then I'll be able to use that as an installed image. Okay, a little message there saying it went okay. So that's that. So now what I'll do is I'll create a VM. And on this node, this Proxmox, because you can have a bunch of these. This is VM 100, whatever. Windows server, I'll call it. Okay, OS. Now the image I'm going to put on this is obviously that one there. And it's not Linux, we'll make it Windows. That'll do, whatever. This is only for a... Bit of a demonstration, I don't really care too much. Storage is gonna be its LVM. Same for the uh, TPM storage, yes, also that. Disk, whatever, that'll do. Could make that vert one. Vert IO block, why not? CPU, yeah, I don't really care too much about this. Ah, now the network. Uh, could give it no device, but you can see it's going for a bridge adapter. If I go back to CLI of it and show you what I've got, you can see it's got its normal adapter, but it's got the bridge adapter. And if you remember like I did yesterday, on the other one, we don't set the IP address up on the real adapter, we set it up on the bridge adapter so we can pass it through to VM, same as I did on Vert, Vert Manager. Anyway, that's a bridge I want, so I just go through and say yes, and it should pop up over here somewhere. There it is, it's just setting it up. See down the bottom, it's not ready. There it is. Press start. Oh, I'm an idiot. Proxmox is just like the BIOS screen that you have, it's actually Windows loading. <laughs> forget what I was thinking but yeah so you can see yeah boot it off the Windows ISO and it's getting ready to do an install so that's it and of course you can pop that out if you want another screen over here somewhere get a full size so this is good because you can use any client machine all you need is a web browser and you do it all there so that's Proxmox if I go back to the CLI and show you what's running you can see no you can't because the fuck's gone you can see that KVM is what's actually running so if you show that 
kvm here's the command and uh it's quite a big one so you don't want to be typing all that in for a command i mean it's setting up all these variables here so that's what proxmox does it basically packages up kvm nicely okay so that's how you set up proxmox now that last video i did got a bit more attention than i realized because i found out later that vmware and um, broadcom had some sort of deal and it got expensive and whatnot i wasn't aware of that because I'd, i've never used those bits of software all i've ever used is proxmox or vert manager so I think if you, if you want an alternative to them, Proxmox would probably suit you because as I said, you can put it on the, the machine here, just use a web client and you're off. So anyway, I thought I'd share that with you again, even though I did a video on it years ago. Uh, it is good, I haven't used others, there are others around, but Proxmox is the one I use for that sort of thing. So it's all set up, ready to go, and that'll do for now. Till next time, take it easy.